Time for another shipping video again this week and uh, I've got 10 really beautiful guitars and some really unique ones in our, in our selection this week and uh, I guess they all really highlight just all the different variety of guitars that we can build and the variety of finishes that you guys can choose. And what I wanted to do today is maybe just have a little look at, uh, at carbon and all the veneers and just talk about the differences in them. You know, carbon is our foundation and, uh, and this is a really good example to start with. So Daniel is uh, in New Zealand and he has selected an X20 and um, it's an X20 finished in our natural black carbon so it was a perfect kind of starting point really to show you what the foundation of every guitar is. And carbon in its, uh, in its natural form has this great beauty, it has all that movement that you get, gives you that really holographic 3D look uh, and it's beautiful in its own right in its natural uh, finished form and uh, you can see the black carbon, it just has a, a lovely appearance just on the curved back of an X20 here. And uh, what we do is uh, we, we mold our guitars all in one piece, so if you're not that familiar with the whole emerald process, um, we have a very unique molding process that actually allows us to mold the back and sides of the guitar, the top of the, of the guitar and the neck. Uh, all in one piece and the only things that are added afterwards is we, we now add on the bridge afterwards and then there's a thin veneer of unidirectional carbon fiber that's put on the on the top of the fretboard but everything else is molded all together what that does is it gives you a guitar that has no joints uh, that can ever fail or split um, because it's all made so uniform that allows the entire guitar to resonate really well together and also it makes it that it's impervious to temperature and humidity. So uh, when you're traveling around the world with a carbon guitar, you're just gonna find that it's just so much easier to deal with. And even when you have it in your own home, you know, where climate changes in different months and from different uh, times of the year, um, you don't get those fluctuations that you might have. You know, I'm sure you've experienced maybe when, uh, if you're in a colder climate, whenever you start using the, the heating in the winter, in your home uh, can start to dry out the wood and your, your guitars can move. Um, so temperature and humidity has a big fundamental change in guitars. And one thing I've often heard from people is they say they play their Emerald guitar more than their other guitars because it's just, it's there, it's in tune, it's easy, they don't have to think about it. And, um, and by default that becomes their favorite guitar because it just allows them to play more music. And, uh, and I think that is the ultimate result. So um, the other thing that we do in carbon as well is all the bridges are done in carbon. So this is um, kind of unique to us is that we, we actually uh, have the bridges machined out of a solid block of carbon. And uh, it's fantastic. We find it works very good tonally, um, but visually it works great along with the carbon. You just, we've got all this layered carbon fiber, many, many layers of carbon fiber all together here. And uh, as it's machined, you just get this really nice layering effect. And that's not got any extra finish on it. So this has got a gloss finish on the top here. This is natural carbon that's just been polished. And so it gives it this nice sort of satin sheen to it. So it contrasts beautifully with the, the, uh, the gloss finish carbon on the rest of the guitar. So, uh, and then on the, on the fretboard, it's got this unidirectional carbon fiber. And I love this because it gives this really nice, um, shimmer to it that contrasts beautifully with the, the the woven carbon fiber but also looks almost like a wood grain so it's really kind of looks like um, a, uh, a very fine ebony or something on a fretboard um, so structurally it's great and visually I think I really like the, the appearance and I think all you guys love the appearance since we started doing this a few years ago um, yeah so carbon is at the at the heart and the foundation but then many people like to add on a veneer you know, just to give them that unique look as well. And we'll talk about them as we go through them. Uh, the other feature on this uh, X20 is uh, it's got the high vibe pickup system. And you're gonna see quite a few of those uh, this week. So that's our, uh, our smart guitar system where it's, um, it's got a inbuilt actuators here in the top and uh, it allows you to create uh, different effects coming directly from your guitar without plugging it in. And um, it effectively almost turns the guitar into a speaker. And uh, so you get all the natural sounds out of the guitar, but then these extra um, modulated effects on top, which is really, really fantastic, a whole lot of fun. And uh, as you'll see from the, the number of them this week, it's become very popular. 
So that's the first one for this week and a, and a great benchmark to start with. And actually I was just going through some, uh, some sales figures over the last while and like over the last uh, number of years, the X20 is by far our best seller, seller although it's been pushed very, very hard by uh, the Virtuo, uh, which we have here. So this one's going to Jason in Edinburgh. And uh, this is a Virtuo finished in Macassar Ebony. And uh, just like I was saying, you know, people like to find something to, to just make their guitar unique. And uh, wood grains, uh, these veneers are something that really allow that unique signature. Um, this one has, uh, has these great straight lines in it. Um, which is really nice and uh, it just frames, I think it really frames the neck and the pickups really well uh, and beautiful colours and contrasts on there as well. So the Virtuo is our, um, I guess our, our bridge between the electric and acoustic worlds and uh, very firmly got a, a foot with a lot of heavy weight on the electric world here. Um, so this is very much an electric guitar that also can do acoustic things. Um, so it's got this suite of uh, Fishman Fluence uh, humbuckers here give you a fantastic electric guitar sound. We've also got the, the six individual piezo pickups here that give you your uh, acoustic sounds. But also because this is a hollow guitar, um, you get acoustic uh, energy coming from the guitar. So it's not like a solid body guitar that just happens to have piezo pickups that can you know, maybe sound a little bit thin. You still get the, uh, the acoustic body of the instrument. And that gives a unique signature even to the, the humbucker sound. So, um, so just really create something that's just a little bit different and unique and, uh, and you can blend them all together. And you also have the MIDI connectivity here as well. So um, huge amount of creative opportunities with, uh, with the Virtual. And, uh, and this one is finished with an amber back and sides, which uh, goes beautifully with the Macassar. Now this is a really unique and interesting guitar. This one's going out to Thomas in, in Colorado. And um, I think this guitar really speaks of how the builder, the 3D builder allows um, people to really see all these different options. And um, apparently Thomas was looking at, uh, at one of our shipping videos and saw uh, two guitars sitting beside by side. Uh, one was the Candy Stripe Paduk on top and one was teal back and sides. And, uh, and he started to think about uh, the contrast and the potential colors. And um, this is the, is the result. And uh, definitely a very, very unique color combination. And we were talking about it in the office here and we've, uh, we've given it the, na the, um, the name Tahitian Sunset. Uh, so we thought this kind of really looks like a sandy beach and, uh, and those beautiful sunset colors that you might get, the reds in the sky and that, uh, that deep kind of turquoise, um, beautiful ocean color on the back and sides there. So really, really unique guitars. This is an X10. Um, it's got the Celtic knots running up the fretboard here and the high vibe pickup system. So next one we have is going to Jason in Maryland. And uh, this is a Coco Bolo X20. Coco Bolo has this just almost like a, a really uh, vintage kind of look to it. Uh, to me, to me, it kind of always looks like, you know, like a really old piece of furniture, you know, a piece of real fine, rich furniture. Um, it's got these really deep colors on it, the beautiful reds and browns, and then just with that little stripe of, um, of sapwood right down the center, I think it just adds a real bit of character to it, and then carried on up the headstock. So uh, you can just almost imagine it just kind of comes up here, widens, runs through the neck and out the headstock. Um, so Coco Ball has always been a very popular choice and uh, it just has a really great look. And then with the amber back and sides. Then we've got Brad in Las Vegas. And, uh, you know, talking about um, creating a signature look. I think this is, uh, this really sort of speaks of that. Um, we, uh, we spend a lot of try time trying to find very unique veneers and it's, it's, it's a very time consuming process, but a very rewarding process. I do that all my, myself. And what it does is allows us to, um, to give you something that really is, is unique to yourself. Uh, these are, there's no two guitars the same, and that's why we, we like to do it. So, you know, you take the carbon and, uh, and you add a veneer as unique as this, 
and you've definitely not got another one, the same one in the world. And um, this one is a very, very interesting piece of cocoa, or, or sorry, of Royal Ebony. Um, amazing detailing down here. It's got all this kind of quilting going on, very fine detail. Uh, all those marks and patterns, this beautiful triangle of black. And, uh, and then running up in here is like almost like a face here with these couple of eyes and the uh, and underneath the strings. Uh, very, very interesting guitar. Uh, it's got a beautiful Celtic vine running up the neck and then black carbon back and sides. So, uh, did I say the name? Brad in Las Vegas. Um, I think I might have called that out, or maybe not. Grant in California. Um, and Grant has got uh, an X20 finishing Koa and uh, another wonderful piece of Koa. Uh, every time we see Koa coming through, every piece has its own unique look and, uh, and unique patterns. This one has a really nice iridescence and movement to it. Um, and every stripe that looks really dark, when you turn it to the light, that same stri stripe can become very light, um, which is very unique. So, uh, Love that holographic effect. Uh, it's got the gold dots running up the fretboard, gold hardware, gold go to 510s, and an amber back and sides. Now here's another really interesting combination going out to Mark in Oregon. And uh, this is black quilted maple. And if you've been watching the shipping videos, you know I'm very fond of black quilted maple. And this one has been done with the red back and sides. Now that's not something I had considered before, but I love the combination. I think it, it really works. Um, it's got a great contrast. Normally on a black quilted maple, we've always been going with black carbon back and sides. But, um, but yeah, I, I think that, that really works and, uh, and ties together very nicely. The, um, the black quilted maple, I just, I love the, the tones of it. It's, uh, we call it black, but it's really got those sort of silvery, gray kind of tones that it runs through it and um, contrasts beautifully with the, the black carbon bridge here. And again, uh, hybrid pickup, or sorry, the high vibe pickup system. Then we've got another guitar going to Maryland. Uh, this one's going to Justin. And um, this is a X2012 string. Uh, the top veneer is, um, is Paduk and it's a baritone. So a uh, 27 inch scale baritone. And um, yeah, really big piano-like sound from this. Uh, baritone 12 string is quite an unusual thing, uh, but we, we've built a few of them in the past and they really, really work well. Uh, so a beautiful candy, candy stripe Paduk in the top and uh, it's um, red carbon back and sides and a high vibe. So I haven't actually tried this. I haven't uh, tried it through the high vibe, so I must give that a go myself personally and uh, tinkle on that a little bit. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting sound, I'm sure, with the baritone on a high vibe. Then we've got this guitar going to Ty in Illinois. Uh, this is a beautiful big X30 or big jumbo guitar and it is tam ash on the top and the quilted tam ash and it's just got a much the most amazing vibrant gold color to it running with a fade running into red and ambers on the back and on the on the edge here and then red carbon back and sides with the, the vibrant weave and uh, i think visually i'm going to call that my guitar of the week that's um i think it's just stunning uh, the combination of that with the Gold Celtic knots, and just a, it's a wonderful color combination. Really, really works well. So, uh, and again, a high vibe. Yeah, it's just a wonderful guitar. And they all are in their own right, but, uh, but that one just catches my eye a little bit more. This is guitar of the week also. I think I'll make this a, a, a tie, and this is for a for a different reason. Uh, this one's going to Tony in um, in Newfoundland, and uh, I'll not share the full story now. We might put this story together at a later date. But um, but Tony uh, 
had uh, had a couple of special guitars that were owned by a friend of mine, and we've been um, working along with them to uh, to try and get those guitars back to uh, to their original owner. And uh, and we're building this very special guitar for Tony. So Tony guitar wanted a a special emerald, and uh, I worked together with them to to choose the veneer and really create something that's special and unique for him. Uh, so he's gone for an X30 Jumbo, uh, Royal Ebony, finishing green. Uh, I think he liked the idea of it, you know, going to that Irish Celtic theme. Vibrant green back and sides, and uh, the vine inlay in white. And uh, it's, yeah, it's a spectacular guitar. Tony, you're gonna love this, and uh, I love that we were able to do this for you. And uh, very excited about uh, about you having another part of the Emerald story, and um, hope you'll enjoy your high vibe pickup system. So Tony, I'll be talking to you soon about that, and we'll, I think we will tell the story. There's there's more to this story, and uh, we'll tell it when the time's right in the right way. Um, but uh, but thanks for being part of that, Tony. Um, okay, I'm going to now show you. So all these guitars were ordered. Uh, as custom orders, so we, you know, they're ordered maybe through the builder or direct with our sales guys, and uh, all built to specific specifications. The guitars we have on here are guitars that we custom built from for stock, and uh, how that happens is uh, I choose all the different specifications. Uh, I use the 3D builder to do that. I design a guitar on the builder. We send that into our our uh, production. And, uh, and then they're built for stock. So if you go in and look at our stock, you'll see there's a big variety in there. It's not like we just build all you know, red guitars or you know, vintage amber or X20s or something. So there's a real, real variety right across the board and that's because I build each one unique. Um, so I guess these are, these are kind of my custom guitars. Those are your custom guitars, these are mine. Um, but these are ones that we sold on our, on our website through our stock. Uh, and we like to ship them out straight away, so, uh, so these guitars will have left in the last week. But it's nice to be able to give them a little shout out as well. So the first one is going out to John in Michigan, an X10 Slimline. And uh, we used to use this uh, red carbon, uh, the red fiber carbon. Uh, we discontinued using that um, just because of logistics of actually attaining it in various reasons. But um, this was the last one on stock. And, uh, and John has a nice collection of emeralds. If, uh, uh, some people out there will know who I'm talking about. Uh, so he's going to get this really nice X10 slim line. Uh, next one is going out to Quinn in Utah. Um, and this is an X30 Coca Bolo. Quite similar to the one we looked at earlier. Um, but uh, with the, the gold vine and lace and a really beautiful guitar and amber back and sides. Then we've got Bruce in England. Uh, Bruce has an X10 and uh, finishing green carbon with the uh, adjustable bridges. Gilbert in Colorado has uh, got a Virtue. Uh, this one is a green Virtue with the gold hardware and uh, a very Irish looking guitar, I think. Um, really nice there. Uh, Lorne in Canada, an X30 uh, Koa with uh, the silver back and sides or the, the sort of vibrant weave back and sides and uh, an amber top. Um, Scott in Arizona, an X20 and uh, finishing carbon, uh, but with the gold Celtic knots. Uh, I need to build more of these for stock because th these are quite beautiful, I think. I think the, the color combination of natural black carbon and, uh, and the gold hardware and the gold vines, um, yeah, it's just something really elegant about it and uh, I've always liked that. Stan in Washington, uh, an X20, also in Coco Bolo, and uh, finished an amber back and sides. Then we've got Jefferson in Texas, X30 uh, in the green carbon. Then we've got James in Florida, uh, an X30 um, finished in amber and uh, zircotti. Yeah, zircotti top of the veneer. Um, then we've got Padma Priya, I hope I got that right, in England. Uh, an X10 with quilted maple top and vintage amber burst. And uh, again with the vine and lace there. Then we've got Blake in Arizona and uh, he's got a X20 candy stripe paduk uh, and uh, red back and sides. Ken in Arizona, 
Um, it's a, an Amara ebony uh, with uh, carbon back and sides. Christabel in Chile. Now, I think this is probably the first guitar I've ever shipped to Chile. Um, I think we need to do a count again of all the different countries that we've shipped guitars to around the world. I think at one stage it was over 50. Um, I'm sure it's well over that now, but I think this is the very first one that I've got going to, to Chile. Um, and it's uh, a Virtuo uh, with a beautiful Koa top and gold hardware. Then we've got Paul in Massachusetts, uh, an X10 in Harborica and uh, black carbon back and sides. And last one today is an X20 going to Cory in Canada and it's uh, a red carbon finish X20. So great selection of guitars this week. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching that and following through. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe and, uh, and keep connected to what we're doing. And if you're on YouTube, also remember to click on that little notification bell and, uh, and that'll give you a notification when we put up new content. We've put a lot of content up recently. We've had a lot of um, performance videos in our archives and we've been trying to put them out to you and I know you guys have been enjoying watching those. And uh, if you go in also to, um, to our channel, if you go into the main page and have a look at all the playlists, we've been putting playlists together recently. And a good place to go in there if you want to research a, a specific guitar, an X30 or an X20 and just see a playlist of different performances on those instruments. Um, so yeah, great place to be. So if you're watching this on, YouTube, on Facebook, take a trip to our YouTube channel. If you're already on YouTube, then dig deeper into our YouTube channel and, uh, and keep coming back. So um, yeah, guys, I'll see you again next week. Thanks for watching.